Hi, I'm Zach Tinkler, Marketing Specialist for Control and Signaling Products with Schneider Electric. Today I want to talk to you about the Harmony Wireless and Batteryless Push Button. The Harmony Wireless Push Button is a system and it encompasses really two parts. One is the wireless push button that sends a radio signal to a receiver. Now, how exactly does the wireless push button work? Well, in the push button itself is a transmitter. And when you press down on the push button, the mechanical energy from the press is converted to an electrical energy. Then it sends a radio signal to the receiver. One additional part I want to make sure it's clear is we standardize our radio signal on Zigbee protocol, which is a part of the 2.4 gigahertz range. This is important because it's free and it's public. Now, I'm sure many of the questions you guys will then ask is, well, what about interference? We have our own unique Schneider Electric code within the Zigbee protocol, and each transmitter that you see here has a unique ID. So this really helps to eliminate any interference. Now, the next thing you're going to ask is, what kind of distance can I get with this wireless push button? In a free field, you're talking about 100 meters. But that's not reality. We all know that the receiver is going to be in an enclosure. So when you've got it talking about 100 meters, it's probably not going to work. What is more likely the reality is we're probably talking about 25 meters or 80 feet. That's still 80 feet of distance. Now the next thing is what kind of configurations can we have? For a push button, you can have up to an unlimited number of receivers. It doesn't matter. Every time you want to pair that push button, it can pair to a new receiver. The limitation is actually on the receiver. A standard receiver can only have up to 32 configurations, meaning 32 push buttons to one receiver. In addition, we do have a higher class receiver called access point receiver. This can receive up to 60 push buttons. The reason we call it higher class as well is because it directly communicates through Modbus communication to a PLC. Now, we have a standard push button, and we also have a dual action push button. If you remember, I talked about the standard push button that converts energy on the press. With the dual action, you can convert energy on the press, but also on the release. Now, why do customers want wireless? Well, first, many employees are looking for mobility. Why? They're looking to improve the productivity of their plant. If someone can carry out their task at the optimal location without having to walk back to a control station, this is going to improve their throughput. Next, we also can reduce or eliminate wiring. This is an obvious benefit that we know is going to reduce cost and time, but you also have to think about the long-term maintenance, any ground faults that we're able to eliminate now because there's no longer wiring. And lastly, an unexpected benefit is the flexibility of design. If you think about installation up front, you can now change it as you need to. And for end users, over time, they're probably going to change the plant design. And now by simply just moving that receiver and putting it in a new location, they're able to go up, be up and running. Lastly, as you remember, I talked about this being a batteryless push button. This is important because we don't have long-term battery maintenance issues, or if a worker's out there doing his job, he doesn't have to worry about potentially a battery loss. Next, what kind of machine applications are right for the wireless push button? Well, compact machines you may think is not the right place, right? Because wiring is all right there. There's not a need to move around. But as you know, many of our machines are becoming networked. If this compact machine is now in a network, Potentially, the worker is going to be at a different location. And if he needs to control it, now he can do it wirelessly. So mobility is important in this case. Next, and probably our sweet spot, is our long and modular machines. If you think about an assembly line like this here, you'll notice mobility is key. Reducing wiring is going to be helpful. And if they need to change the overall design of the machine, flexibility will be key as well. Lastly, plant process. This is where we start to see access point. Access point allowing you to connect directly to a PLC might be able to control multiple different processes in a plant. Here you see a uh, tank fill, you, have to have, you also have an assembly line, and as well as potentially a wrapping machine, as well as a truck dock. Now, what kind of packaging opportunities do you have with the wireless switch button? You can buy it in components, or you can also buy it, as you see here, as a kit. We have a non-configurable kit and a configurable kit. Now, the configurable kit is, as you can imagine, allows you to pair multiple push buttons, but it comes just with what you see here. The non-configurable kit is, is what you see is what you get. It's a push button pre-configured to a receiver, and that's it. That's important because maybe it's a low-cost option 
that's best for maybe just opening a door. And lastly, if you have any additional questions, don't be afraid to reach out to your local Schneider Electric distributor or Schneider Electric sales support. Thanks for your time and have a great day.